So let me guess, you are interested in purchasing a CO2 laser, but you have no idea where to begin. Well, if that's the case, I have great news for you. My name's Ryan with Rise and Grind Workshop, and I've partnered up with Omtech Lasers, and they were gracious enough to give me a discount on this unit. And this is a manual focus 2028 20, 60 watt machine. And as much as I would love to condense this all into one video, it would be unfair for you, the viewer, to do that. So what I'm gonna do is if you are interested in purchasing one of these machines and don't know anything about it, I'm gonna create a multi-part video series. This is part one. So now would be a great time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're interested in catching every single part of this video. Now my entire goal with this multi-part series is to help you, the consumer, figure out which model to buy and once you've placed that order, what to expect upon taking delivery, unboxing, getting it set up and making your first cuts. For today's content, I'm primarily gonna focus on an area I see a lot of different questions, and that is what to expect once you've gone ahead and selected your machine and placed your order. How is it gonna be delivered to you and how are you gonna get it into your workshop? So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So as you can see, I clearly live in a residential neighborhood and I would assume 90% of people interested in buying a laser do as well. So hopefully this portion of the video will ease those nerves once you've placed your order. Now keep in mind, once you've placed your order, Omtech will actually sub out the delivery with a third party company. They have nothing to do with the delivery service and unfortunately freight shipping can be a hassle at times. So please don't take this out on Omtech. You'll have to take that up with the delivery company. Now with that small disclaimer out of the way, let's go ahead and ease your fears. As you can see, the freight truck will arrive at your residence. You'll greet your driver, let them know where you would like the machine placed. The truck 99% of the time will have a lift gate on the back. The driver will drop down the lift gate and use a pallet jack and simply roll your laser into its final destination. And as you can clearly see here, the process was very quick and easy. Also keep in mind, if you purchase your laser direct through the Omtech website, you do not have to pay an additional fee for shipping or the liftgate services. One question that pops up all the time, what size crate does the 60 watt laser come in? I've got you covered, let's take a measurement. 51 and a quarter wide. 41 and a half. 39 and a half tall. Now, if your CO2 laser's final destination is a workshop that's going in your attached garage, all you have to do is unbox it and get it set up. Now, I know a lot of you want to put a unit like this in a home basement, maybe in an upstairs bonus room or in one of your offices, and you're gonna to have to contend with a doorway. Obviously, this large giant crate is not gonna fit through your doorway. So let's go ahead and unbox this and get some final measurements, and I'm gonna show you a couple different options on how you can get this inside your home office. I must say, Omtech did a fantastic job creating this laser, and I would highly recommend if you have a small impact gun or at least a electric screwdriver, that will speed up the unboxing process tremendously as there's quite a few screws holding this crate together. Quick word of caution before attempting to remove the laser from the crate, Omtech's lasers come with both casters and leveling feet, and you will notice there is a screw running through the leveling foot into the base of the crate. Please make sure you remove that prior to attempting to lift the laser out of the crate. So now that we have the laser out of the crate, let's get some final measurements. This is gonna be critical for those of you that wanna get this through a standard door opening. The final width is 47, and the final depth is 34. Now, as we know, interior door widths vary from home to home, so I couldn't tell you what your width is. You'll need to measure that on your own. However, I can go ahead and give you a couple different measurements right here that will give you peace of mind, knowing that if you order the manual focus 2028, you're gonna get a removable base. This is held on with four bolts. All you need to do is remove this base. So from the bottom of the laser to the top, we're at 23 inches and 5 eighths. If we take a measurement bottom of the laser to the top, we're at about 35 inches. Now, if you find yourself in a position where you need to get this through a doorway and you're concerned, don't be. Let me show you how you address that. First things first, open up the cover. Unfortunately, it's really hard to get a shot with the camera, but trust me, there's gonna be four Allen head bolts in each corner. Simply remove those, and that's gonna allow for the mobile base to drop down find a partner that has some strength, turn the unit sideways, and now you can carry it through a doorway. 
So now that you've taken delivery of your laser and you have it uncrated and ready to set up, let's talk about a couple different things that you should take into consideration prior to purchasing and prior to taking delivery. Remember, a CO2 laser will be burning and creating fumes on whatever material you're engraving. So you're gonna need to prepare for where you're gonna exhaust the machine. And on the manual focus 2028 60 watt unit, you will notice the exhaust port is on the left hand side if you're standing looking at the machine. So when considering purchasing a unit and you have an idea in mind where you would like to place the unit, so please take into consideration you will need to hook up a six inch exhaust port and you're gonna need to vent it out of your room or workshop accordingly. I also see a lot of confusion on whether or not you need an external chiller or whether you can just use the factory bucket and pump that is included with the Ohmtech laser. In the long term, yes, if you can afford a chiller, that's the best way to go, but you do not have to purchase a chiller when you first buy your unit. Omtec does supply you with a bucket and a water pump similar to something you would see in a fish tank. Now the things that you need to take into consideration are gonna be the temperatures of where your laser is. Obviously, if the temperatures get below freezing and you have water sitting in this bucket, that is going to freeze up and it can cause damage to your unit or your laser tube. And if the water gets too hot in the summertime, it's not gonna cool that laser tube efficiently, which is gonna to lead to premature wear. So when you're thinking about where to place this unit, also take into consideration the fact that you're gonna to need to place this water bucket somewhere or if you decide to upgrade to a chiller in the future, I simply have mine placed in between my fiber laser and my CO2 laser. And again, my exhaust port is right here on the left side, which I can conveniently route out my window right here. And since we're already discussing some options and upgrades, we might as well go ahead and talk about the AC-Finity 6-inch inline fume extractor. Again, this is just an optional upgrade. You do not have to have this to get up and running. If you have the funds when you purchase the machine, I would highly recommend you purchase it. But again, this is by no means a must have. The Ohmtech unit does come with its own air pump. Here's a pro tip for those of you that plan to purchase one of these when they buy their laser. You want to mount the inline fume extractor as close to the extraction point as possible. Obviously, I'm gonna be extracting mine right here at this window. So my goal is to take this pump and I'm gonna mount it on the back wall right there and I will probably have a maximum of two feet of hose on the extraction side. That is the most effective way to get all of those fumes out of your enclosed unit. Now, when it comes to upgrades or modifying your laser, that's gonna be up to your specific needs. The average user can purchase one of these directly from Omtec, get up and running, and as their business grows or their niche expands and they then find the need to have a better inline fume extractor or they would like to upgrade to an inline chiller, that's a great time to go ahead and purchase it. But like I mentioned earlier, if you do have the budget, those are the two upgrades and options that I would get immediately. Immediately. I wouldn't really worry about the auto focus or the auto bed up and down. Those are some options and features that I will discuss in greater detail in part two. I will also talk more on how to mount that inline fan and I will also talk a little bit more about the chiller. Hopefully I answered some of the questions you might have had about how to get one of these delivered to your doorstep and get it set up inside your shop. And again, this is gonna be a multi-part series. If you found some value from this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss part two. If you are seriously considering purchasing one of these units, make sure you check out the link below in my description. Again, I'm an affiliate for Omtech, and big thank you to Omtech for working with me. Really excited to show you guys how you can purchase one of these lasers and start a very small, successful business. Part two, I'm gonna run power to the machine, get the software installed, fire up the unit, move it around, show you how that works. And the most important thing in part two that I'm gonna cover is the different makes and models and how to choose the right laser for you and your business. You don't wanna buy the wrong laser first and then have to buy another laser second. Like I always say, buy once, cry once. And I always encourage you guys to drop comments below. And if you wanna help support the channel for free, hit that like button. It really does help us small subscribers out there. If you wanna share this video with someone, that would be awesome as well. And the biggest thing, drop a comment below, guys. Let me know what questions you have and what topics you want me to cover. Until next time, we'll catch you on part two.